McHale who gets a catch. He's got patrol. It's always an interesting matchup when the two independent school district 622 rivals come together. And that's what we have tonight for you on the volleyball court as the Tartan Titans travel up from Oakdale to face off against the North High Polars. All by myself tonight for this Minnesota State High School League girls volleyball match. I am Alex Westad here from the North High School Gymnasium as these two perennial powerhouses continue to go together and oppose each other here in this one. It's a story and a tale of repetition as the North High program has done very well so far, off to a fantastic start. If we look at their statistics, 12 and three overall, two and zero in the Metro East. Meanwhile, the Tartan Titans continue to have a, a, a program that continues to excel well. However, still struggling to get over that hump as they are 5-8 and eight with a 3-1 and one record in Metro East play. The last time that these two teams met was September of last year. It was a three sets to one lead for the Tartan Titans as they, as I'm sorry, I got that wrong. I read that wrong. The North High Polars won that three sets to one. As we look at the Metro East standing so far this season as the starting lineups continue to get announced here, it is, I believe it's Dig Pink Night here, a benefit to... Uh, help with women's breast cancer issues as there will be a volleyball toss at some point I want to say they said between the second and third set So we'll certainly hope to keep you posted for that as we look at the Metro East standings It's actually the Tartan Titans with the better record in Metro East play as they are three and one despite the five and eight overall record and the North, Paul Pol North St. Paul Polars fall into fourth place with a two and zero overall record in the conference, but a 12 and 3 record overall. You see, they're similarly atop the Metro East and South St. Paul and rounding up the bottom. The North High Polars will be in their black uniforms tonight. The defensive Lee Barrow, I believe I saw at one point, I thought it was a red uniform, and it is as the Libero will check in. And the Tartan Titans choose to go with blue tonight with the Libero in white. There's Stephanie Blandup, head coach of the North High Titan, or the North High Polars volleyball team. In her tenure as North High volleyball coach, they have won the conference in 2015, 16, and 17, but still looking for that first trip to state as they have been upset by the Stillwater Ponies every single year that they have made it to the section final. However, Stillwater, a program a bit of decline as of late, and it looks like the Polars will not be forced to play them again this upcoming playoff season. Only four games to go here in the regular season, and the Polars will start this opening set as they will serve left to right across your screen. It's dug out here by Tartan onto the near side. A little bit of miscommunication. The third hit sent across. It can be dug up there by Bria Sandifer on the far side. A kill attempt for Lawrence Stedman, and it's an early point for the Tartan Titans. Stedman, the North Polar leader in kills a season ago. A little errant on that one, and the Titans were able to take advantage as they'll do service one serving zero. It'll be Faith Lobo, the junior setter, and a hard pass straight across, set by Sandifer, far side. Shot there, but not quite strong enough. And Stenman gets her first kill on the night, and already we'll have a defensive substitution as Abby Shell will come out, being replaced on the far side by a number that unfortunately I can't see. I believe it's Danny Steckler, served across, one serving one. Set here, third hit for the Titans, a nice kill right off the bat for Barakat Rahman, the middle back, six foot tall, the junior, has now to be two serving one, going back to serve for Tartan. The senior Madison Klimek, 5'5", five five defensive setter, as she'll send it across. We dug here by the Polars. They're trying to go, nice little tip play on the Pass across, Sandifer the dig. Tried to kill it again there with Stemmen, unable to do so. A little too strong on the attempt to cross, and two will play two here as they even it up there on the attack error. Our player to watch for the North Polars, that's Alex Lyle, as you see there on your screen, number two in blue. 
65 kills in the season, averaging 4.3 kills a set. And another one there for the Tartan Titans as Rahman is able to kill it again. Three serving two in this opening set. That's two kills already on the evening for Rahman. And back to serve now for Tartan is Samantha Spoden, the 5'8 right hitter. The senior, she'll serve it across. A little bit too strong on that one. And that will give the North Polars the point that will even it up. As a substitution will come in, the Sandifer will go out for North St. Paul. She'll be replaced by Yaiza Franco. And the libero comes in for the Tartan Titans. Has to send it across, dug by Lyle. Trying to set back here on the near side. Nice kill by Munter. And Tartan leads set number one, four to three. We'll have another substitution as Caitlin Neiman, the 5-4 senior, will come on, replacing Rahman, who's done an excellent job so far with two kills, leading the Tartan Titans. It'll be four serving three. Neiman on service. She'll send it across as it was dug. Looking back on the far side. Nice dig there by Klimek. A little bit too strong, and the Polars are able to even it up at four points apiece. We'll have a couple of substitutions. This time it'll be four serving serve, four serving four with the Polars serving. And she'll operate far side. Sent across by Shell. Can be dug further. Nice kill attempt there, unsuccessful. Set there in the near side for Kang. It's dug here by the Titans. They'll reset, sent across. They'll set there again. Nice play by Franco, but the Titans able to get to it. Sent there, nice dig. For go for Kang again, far pin. Ooh, a whistle blows. They will let Tartan touch the net. And that'll be a point in favor of the bowlers as they will take the 5-4 advantage in this first set. No real dominance by either team so far. You would have thought that North with a 12-3 overall record would have come in and done very well in this first set, but that's the nature of volleyball. Or if you get one hot set, anything can happen. Ball sent across by Stemman, and another, ooh, another point for Tartan. The Titans have come out strong here in this opening set, and an excellent kill there for Emma Munter, who's been all over the court so far. Another substitution for Tartan, as Klimek will come out, replaced by Maggie Head, the 5'11 junior, right side hitter. And back to serve will be Alex Lyle, the 6'1 senior. Lyle in service across with the right hand. Can be set there, looking for Kang, far pin. Kang, a nice block of the line by Munter. They try to send it across again. Nice save by the Polars, but they rule that they touch the net. And that'll be another point for Tartan as they take the 6-5 to five lead in this set. The biggest lead in this first set has been won. And the two teams have gone back, to, back and forth. Lyle in service again. It's dug there, didn't have to though. Kang sent across, can be dug again by Moshier. The cross, Munter, too strong on the tip, and a point for the Polars evens it up. And for two teams, as we mentioned before, a season ago, North won three sets to one. The sets were particularly close, so these two rivals, despite the difference in records, always play each other tough. As they'll continue now, Stemman. Nice kill, oh, what a save, almost. But a great kill there for Molly Conway, the outside hitter. You see Lauren Stemmen, the leader in kills a year ago. She has won so far tonight. That can be sent across by Franco. Nice dig there by Lyle. Lyle will get a chance to send it across as it hits the nest. Nice dig by Stemmen. Looking for Kang near pin. I'll try to send it back up again. Here's Head. Kill for Maggie Head. And once again, 7-7. Seven to seven. That's Head's first kill of the match. And as the rotation continues for Tartan, this time it'll be Tara Moshier, the 5'4 junior libero. The libero choosing to wear white. Has to wear a different color jersey than all the other players. And it's tipped over, a nice play there in the head. And Head should get the kill on that one. That'll be her second. And you see their last meeting between these two teams, section four opponents. But they haven't played in section play for quite some time as we'll get to that in just a minute. A little too strong and the attack error on the near pin by Conway. Gives Tartan the biggest lead of this opening set. Nine to seven, set number one here from the North High Gymnasium. 
Mosier sends it across to Strong, and the service error allows the Polars to get back into this one. We look at the last couple of matchups between these two schools, and the one thing that you notice is that the closest match between the two of them was on October the 3rd of 2017. It was a five-set win for the North Polars as North has won the last 10 meetings in a row. It can be dug out. Looking for Kang. Kang, a nice tip. Try to send it back to Lyle. Lyle, we have a whistle and the point on the double hit by Alex Lyle in the opening set here. Returns to a 9-9 to -9 tie. Back to serve, Yaiza Franco. There you go, ducked by Lyle, headed this way, out of bounds. And that'll be a service ace for Bria Sandifer in service. Excuse me, I thought it was 10 from here. Tough to tell from our corner vantage point. Sent across, is dug by the Titans. They look to center across, way too strong. And Head was looking for a call from the official, but too strong. And now the Polars have their first two-point lead as they lead 11, serving nine as Bria Sandifer will go back to do service. They don't tell us the grades of the players on the North High roster. But either way, they are still doing very well in a competitive match so far. Stenman with a kill attempt. Nice dig on that far side by Neiman. Third hit sent across. Here near pin. Stenman again with authority. Stenman the kill, her second of the night. The biggest lead of the match, 12-9. And for Stenman, who's been a threat for her career here at North High School on the volleyball court, you have to be aware of her. And again, just a great set two there by Sandifer to set that one up, and the kill put it away. To play, Sandifer able as we continue this point. Kang for the near side. Can be dug there by Moshier. Sets across, they keep it alive. Looking for Stenman. Stenman will palm it across. It's sent further here, and a chance for Spona now with some blows. Point for the Polars as they rule that one of the Titans touched the net. And that is player number two who touched it, so they say that Lyle will have touched the net. Service again. Nice rally here for Sandifer. She served four in a row. To play over in front. Nice dig by North. The Tartan fans want a carry call. They don't get one. Set here on the near side. Nice dig again by Sandifer. And across Stenman, nice block right at the line by Spoden. As the crowd loves this rally so far. Head across, nice dig on the other side by the Polars. Here for Kang again. Nice block at the line, able to give Tartan a chance with it. Head again off of a couple of hands as the rally continues. Sent across, too strong off the hand of Neiman. And down for the Polar point as their lead in this first set is now five. Well, what a rally, and you admire the supporting sections of both these schools for traveling well here to North High School on this picturesque fall night. Neiman set for Kang again. Kang blocked at the near pin. The Titans want a call. They won't get one. Kang will send it across again. Lyle looking to set here now for Lobo. Lobo, oh, the kill attempt and a great block at the line. Stedman was there. So was Mina Yenner, and we have a timeout. North on a rally, they've got seven points in a row. They lead set number one, 15 to nine. And until this lead, it was really a back and forth game where neither team had a lead more than one point. But with the serving there, Bria Sandifer extended the polar lead from trailing one to being up six here in this first set of the best of five. Again, you see here in the black sweater there with the curly hair, that's Alyssa Engel, the head coach of Tartan Volleyball. Uh, a good season so far for them. Three and one in the Metro East, which is good for second place behind the Simley Spartans. And you certainly like the effort that they have showed so far tonight. And again, there's Stephanie Blanda, the head coach of the North High Polars. So far undefeated in conference play. And with their most recent conference championship coming back in 2017, they certainly would like to be able to get there with a matchup on against Simley coming down in Invergrove Heights on Thursday, October the 10th. Sandifer in service again, 15 serving nine. As the Titans will set head, far pin, ooh, right into the net. And it looks like one of the Polars touched the net, and that'll be a point for Tartan. So a nice break for the Titans, one that they will certainly take. And back to serve now, Faith Lobo, the 5'10 junior, will serve 10, serving 15. 
as Lobo will send it across as it tried to get dealt there by Kang. Unable to quite get there, Sandifer will send it across. Lobo set, looking for the kill. Blocked at the line, Sandifer. Unable to, well, was able to hit there, excuse me, Mina Yener on the assist. We'll have another substitution as Shell will come out and it is replaced by Steckler. That seems to be the rotation. Back to serve, Alexis Kang, the outside hitter, 5-6. The ball goes up over the basketball hoop, so they'll continue to play. Can be sent across by Alex Lyle. Kang on the dig for Sandifer now. Looking to set near side. Oh, what a play! Not enough to get to it, but a great attempt there by Tara Mosier. Wow, what a play. Great effort to lay out and get that one, but the point will go in favor of the North High Polars. Angel Alexis Kang. Angel Kang is her sister who now plays for Augsburg University in the MIAC, tip play across. Unsuccessful, a little too strong on the push, and that'll be 18 serving 10 upcoming now. As you look down on the court, on your television screen, you see that the white line is the line for volleyball. As the services return, dug out. Big attempt and a kill there by Spoden. Sent across. Steckler tried to kill it, unable to do so. But it's set there by Lobo. They'll keep it alive. And the officials rule that Tartan gets the point on the touch play at the net. The substitution again for Tartan. As Plymouth will come in and will replace Head. And it will be Madison Clinic, the 5'5 senior, to go back to serve. As you see the two officials assigned to this one tonight. The line judges, usually parents from the crowd. And another kill. Made there by Barakat Rahman, the six foot tall junior. She's got three on the night for the Titans, as it'll be 12 serving 18. Sandifer sent across over the outstretched arm of Klimek, 19 serving 12 now as the Polars regain service. And for Stenman, who led the Polars in kills a season ago, she's already got three to nine as she leads the way for the North High Polars. The cross kill attempt looking for Lyle, and she was able to get it past the outstretched arms of Jenna Rabelke. Back to serve now, so it'll be 13 serving nine. So it'll be Samantha Spoden who will send it across. This is dug there. Play into the net. Oh, and I thought that Tartan may have touched the net there, but it looks like the Titans will get the point. And so Spoden will get the chance to serve again. On the scoreboard here at North High School, we do get the aces, and so far only one for North. That's Bria Sandifer, none so far for Tartan. The ball sent across. They may just get one there. Spoden made service. <laughs> the bowler is able to get a hand on it, but unable to return, and a nice serve by the senior. As we'll have 15 serving nine first set. Spoden's shot across. Dug out by Sandifer. Looking to set there for Stedman. Stedman across. And she's able to get another kill here. 20 serving 15 now as the substitution comes in. As Sandifer will come out and will be replaced by Conway. Spoden out as well for the Titans. As the libero, Moser will come back in. And an attack service error will make it 16 serving 20 now. As we'll have another substitution. As Neiman will come in and replace Raman. It'll be Caitlin Neiman, the 5-4 defensive setter, senior, who will go back to serve. 16 serving 20 in this opening set. Neiman across. It's dug there by Rebelke. Looking to set near side for Steckler. It's dug nicely by the Titans. Here's Lyle across. Dug by Stenman for Rebelke. Looking near Pince. Oh, and a nice dig there by the Titans. Looking for Lyle again for Rebelke. Stenman. Far pin, oh, too strong, as it may have hit something on the way, perhaps the net, and it'll be 17 serving 20. Neiman across, in service, hit the net, oh, and falls down, a nice break there for the Titans, as they've started to respond with a rally of their own. They were trailing six at one point, now only trail by two. Both teams have had the lead, Tartan's biggest lead was two. North's biggest lead has been six. And a service error that time by Neiman as she'll send it into the official's tower. And there'll be another point here for the North Polars as they lead 21 to nothing. 
Five service errors now for Neiman. Play at the net, and the boys will get it. I thought they could have whistled both sides for contact with the net, but it looks like they will let it go. And a timeout called by the Tartan Titans as the bowlers lead opening the opening set of this one by a score of 22 to 18. Again, it's been 10 in a row that the Tartan Titans have fell to the North Polars in this volleyball matchup. And when you look at playoff matchups, they have not matched up in the playoffs except once, all the way back in 2012 when North swept the Titans in straight sets three to none. And of course, with this and any other rivalry that we have between these two schools, it is very well attended. The Nor North Polars seem to have chosen a country vibe for tonight. Meanwhile, the Tartan Titans have chosen some kind of a blue out from the looks of things, but a nice showing from both of these schools. Friends, but rivals on the court. Well, back in action now, 22 serving 18, opening set is back to serve for the Polars, Abby Shell. Shell, the 5-3 defensive setter. And she'll send it across, it can be dug there by Klimek. Trying to set Lyle near pin. Lyle with some power. Just dug out Stemman. Looking to set Shell again. He's had further across. Kane trying to kill it. Too strong. Oh, but a nice play. We've seen that a couple of times by the Tartans. It was Klimek. This time, Moshier had a nice diving attempt at one earlier, but unsuccessful as it went out of bounds. 23 to 18 now. And the first ball is dug here on double set point. Rebelke looking to set. Oh, nice job with the change up there. But Lyle able to send it back across, keep it alive. Stemmen looking for pass. Oh, off the hand of Madison Klimek. And we'll have set point here, 24, serving 18. A nice job by Yaiza Franco, the six foot tall setter for this team. They sent across now, Lyle. Lyle, dug out. Go far side for Kang. Kang found the seam, and the Titans fall in the first set, but the Polars win this first set, 25-18, and they take the one set to none lead in this best of five. It was a pretty effective attack for the North Polars. Stemman with four kills. Franco with three kills. A couple of service aces in there as well for the Titans. One ace for Caitlin Neiman. And the kill leader for the Titans, Barakat Rahman, with two kills for the Tartan Titans. We'll be back for the start of the second set in just about two minutes. This is your home for Titan and Polar Volleyball on SEC Sports. Thanks for buying a fishing license. What the? I know, but listen. I want you to picture all the great things this simple purchase does. Like building public boat ramps, keeping local waters clean so families can fish and swim, and maintaining a healthy fish population. What's mom doing? It also provides fishing education and activities for the kids and funds long-term plans to protect our lakes and streams. Wow. Wow is right. Did you just... did he? When you buy a fishing license, you do a lot because every dollar from a license purchase protects and maintains your local waterways for future generations to enjoy. Learn more at TakeMeFishing.org. North High School leads Tartan Titans by a score of one set to none as they took the opening set 25 to 18. We're back here for the start of the second set as the two teams will switch ends as they do in between each and every set here. It was a pretty good set here between the early early goings of it where the lead was no more than two right about for the point where it was 11 to 9 where the Tartan Titans led but again you see here just the attack and just the volley capabilities between these two teams they kept a rally going for what felt like three solid minutes and again you see there the kill by Alexis Kang to end that chance 
and to put that first hit away in favor of the Tartan Titans. Meanwhile, the two teams will switch sides. This time, Tartan will serve right to left across your television screen, and the Tartan Titans will serve from left to right. Again, coaching the important part of it. So we almost had the shot there, but that's okay. That does happen. And again, you see there that is head coach Stephanie Blando, assisted by Katie Pangborn and Kelly Gipp on these teams as <laughs> she acknowledges the camera. We certainly like to see that. We're awaiting the start of the second set. Not really sure what's going on, or they are still looking to confirm the rosters. The Tartan Libero has not been substituted in, and now finally she is, and that is Tara Mogier, who has done an excellent job a couple of times with the digs as we see the iPad now coming over to join us from the North High coaching staff. Tartan will serve to start this second set as it's over and across. It's dug by Abby Shell. They'll look to set Stemmen on the kill. Attempt blocked at the line, but a point for the Titans. As it was a great job there by Barakat Rahman, who had two kills in the opening set for the Titans. It'll be one serving nothing back on the back line for the Titans. Lobo will send it across on service. And we send it across again. On, oh, able to get to it. And the Polar's able to even it up at one to one. So the second set, a similar start to the first one. And Priya Sandifer will go back to do service. One serving one. Sandifer across. It's dug out there. Looking for head near pin. Nice dig play made there by Shell. They'll try to send it across. And one kill, I believe. I believe that was Stemman right at the line who's able to get that kill. It'll be two serving one. And again, Stemman now has the officially credited with Mina Yainer on the serve, the 5'11 midfielder. And a service error. That time on Sandifer will give control back to Tartan as it'll be two serving two. Head will come out as Klimek will come on in. And she will do service here, two to two. And the right-handed shot across can be dug there by Shell. Sandifer looking across for Belke. Trying to push it across here again. Wow, with the kill for the Titans. And Titan will regain the three to two lead. That's two kills on the evening. Now for Alex Lyle, who leads the team with 65 coming into play today. Sandifer, nice tip play to send it across. Ah, nice play, almost a carry by Stemman. But a great job keeping those hands and fingertips wide to push it down. And that'll be three serving three. The substitution now for North and Shell will come in, replaced by Rebelke. And it'll be Alexis Kang to send it across. Can we dug further now? Looking across, unfortunately, the linesman right in the field of vision for me, so we'll just have to deal with that for now. It's a point for the Titans as it's another kill. Third of the evening for Rahman, and we four serving three as the Polars lead one set to none, and the Titans look to even it back up. Sandifer, that near side kill attempt. Ooh, did that go off the hand? It did. Danny Steckler was able to get it off the hands of one of the Tartan Titans. That's her second kill of the evening. Four serving four now. Jenna Rebelke back to do service for North High in the red libero outfit. He sent across stem and tried to kill it, unable to do so. He sent across by Lyles and found a seam in the back court. Five serving four. We have another substitution as Neiman will come in replacing Raman. It's the third kill of the evening now for Alex Lyle. Gonna serve Caitlin Neiman. The 5 4 senior. Five serving, or four, yeah, five serving four. One set to none, the Polar's lead. Stemmen trying to kill it, unable to do so. Can be dug out that time there by Lobo. So send it across. Ooh, maybe a little too strong on that one, but Stemmen will have a chance on the third hit. Ooh, she found a seam in the backcourt. Lauren Stemmen, the opposite hitter. Her sixth kill of the evening. It'll be Stemman back to do service. Five serving five as we have a ball that managed to sneak its way back onto the playing surface from one of the players on the sideline. And Stemman in service across. Can be dug that time by Mosier. Looking to set near Munter. And it's, ooh, they'll blow the whistle. And they will say that it is four hits for the Tartan Titans. And it'll be six serving five now. And the Polars have another lead. Again, like in the first set where no team led by more than two within the first 10 points, 
So far, same as held true in the second. Lobo able to set it, looking for Lyle. Nice dig by Kang. And the cross this time, Stenman. Lobo looking for Lyle again, far pin. Oh, she just hit it outside. And a point for the Polars if they have had three in a row now. So the attack error that time by Lyle, seven serving five. Stenman sent across, dug by Neiman. Looking further there now for Mogier. To send it across. We'll try to play it right at the net. Dug there by Sanifer on contact with Lyle at the net. Stuck by the Titans. Lobo looking for Lyle again. Goes to go off speed. Sandifer looking here on the kill attempt by Steckler. Blocked the line by Lobo. The rally continues. Lyle tipped across. Kang able to make the save in the backcourt. Across. Oh, blocked at the line and a point for the Polars. was Yais of Franco who tried to send it across. It was blocked by the Titans right at the line. A little too strong on that block, out of bounds. Eight serving five this time. Unable to get to it. We'll see if they get the third hit. Lyle will be able to save it. Send it to the front line for the Polars. Looking far pin. Trying to get it. Nice kill. Off the hands of Yais of Franco. That is her fifth kill of the evening. Stenman has six for the Polars. The kills have been frequent. Stemman in service again, nine serving five. Dug there by Rebelke, looking across. Lobo trying to get across for Munter. Ooh, they continue to try to push it across, but they can't quite get there. Stemman looking for Sandifer again, blocked the line. Nice dig there by Rebelke. Stemman with power down. Seven kills on the night for Lawrence Stemman. 10 serving five on the six point rally for the Polars. Stemman in service again. Lobo looking for Lyle. Here's Stemman able to get the dig there right into the net. They save it, keeping it alive. They'll send it across. Will the time to get to it? No! A fortuitous bounce for the North Polars as the rally continues. 11 serving five now. Their biggest lead in the opening set was seven. They currently lead by six. Sent across. Oh, off the hands of Stemman in the kill attempt. That time by Emma Munter, her second of the evening. And so Titan will do service as Head will come back into the game and will replace Madison Clement. Back to service will be Alex Lyle, the 6'1 senior. Lyle entering play today. Five service aces and, and 50 serves. And that's another point for Titan, or for the Titans that she'll get another ace there. That'll be her sixth of the season. So averaging about one ace every 10 serves. She's one ace, three kills tonight for the Tartan Titans. Seven serving 11. Sent the cross to Strong. And that'll be another point for the Polars. And that'll be a service error for Tartan. And for Lyle, that will be her first service error, recorded statistically. A little too strong on that serve by the Polar's Abby Shell. And then will get possession right back to Tartan. As this time to serve, Tara Mosher, as I finally learned the pronunciation from listening to the PA guy. We send across here now. As Kang tried to send it across, was she able to find the seam? Yes, she was on the back line. 13 serving nine, or 13 serving eight rather, excuse me. This time back to serve, Yaisa Franco, six foot tall. Mid setter, Franco serves across. Ooh, too strong. Oh, that was real close to the line. But they will rule it in favor of the Tartan Titans. It'll be nine serving 13. I'm sure many of you are wondering, how can I tell? Usually from the reaction of the player. Although even though the players are biased at times. To send it across. Doug by Rebelke. Sandifer looking to kill. Rebelke able to dig it out again at the net. There she goes. And a nice dig there. That time by Lobo. Lobo for head. Doug there by Stenman. Sandifer for Kang. Oh, off the end of the hand. Right thumb side into the net. That'll be an attack error for the Polars. And it'll be 10 serving 13 now. As Faith Lobo to serve. 
Oboe across, dug by Shell. Looking near side for Kang again. Kang with a tip play off the hand of Lobo on the dig. It can be sent across by Mosher. Demon, ooh, tipped it across. Nice play. Mosher. Looking near side. Dug there by Rebelke. Cross for Kang. Kang locked at the line by head. They try to send it further along. Back into the north side of the field. The play there, nice play by Alexis Kang for the kill. That'll be her fourth, third, no, third of the evening. And we'll have 14 serving 10. Can you see just the nice play and the decision just to go with that tip because she saw that hole right in the middle of the court and she took advantage of it. So nice job for Alexis Kang. Kang killed at the line. Oh, with the 30. Barakat Rahman able to get the kill for the Titans. Which would be her fourth of the evening and back to serve now. Madison Klimek. Can we dug further into the net? Pours will try to keep it alive. Ooh, sent further a little too strong that time off the hands of Kang. And the Titans have managed to bring it to within two. At 14 serving 12. North leading this best of five. One sets to none as it can be dug by Shell. Looking to set Stemmen. Stemmen, ooh, off the hands of Lobo. He won't be able to get another player to touch it. As that'll be, no, it would be. I missed the call there, I'm afraid. No, it is a double hit. They ruled double hit for Stemmen. 13 serving 14 this time. As a lead of six at one point in time for the Polars has been cut to one. Look for Kang, far pin. Ooh, and that's an attack error and a point for the Titans. As it'll be 14 to 14 in the second set. The two teams continue to go back and forth here. We'll have 14 serving 14 now. Tartan in their blue uniforms tonight, libero in white. And the Polars in their black uniforms, libero in red. Sent across, oh, what a dig by Kang. Sent across, oh, what a play. We got a whistle, point for the Polars. They roll a double hit on the Tartan Titans, 15 serving 14. Well, it wasn't Alexis Kang who came over and made that play. It was Mina Yenner, rather. It's just an incredible athletic effort to get over and keep that ball out of the seam. The whistle blows, and they will a double hit again. 16 serving 14. So Kang in service across. We dug here, Lobo. Oh, a nice stick by Rebelki. Looking for Stenman. No, oh, and block at the line. Nice play by Ramon. As that was Danny Steckler who tried to kill it. Or no, they will give the point to the bowlers. Uh, no, the scoreboard says 16 serving 15. And the serve Spoden. Kang on the dig. Can be kept alive by Sandiford. Rebelki across and down at the knees of Faith Lobo. And quickly possession back in favor of the Polar 17 serving 15. They lead one set to none. Rebelki with one kill on the night, and she'll send it across here. And this point and another point for Rebelki. As it'll be 18 serving 15. Again, North, the winner of the last 10 times these two teams met have met. Only once in postseason action, reached up on top of the net, but not across. Yiza Franco. Able to knock that one down. And it'll be 19 serving 15. Rebelki again to serve. She'll send it across. Can be dug by the Titans. Lobo looking for Lyle. Lyle off the hands of Yiza Franco at the net. And that'll be a point for the Tartan Titans. We'll have the substitution again. Caitlin Neiman comes back in to serve. And Barakat Rahman, who has been excellent. And the front line for the Titans tonight will take the temporary break. This play will continue on this 19 serving 16 point. Lyle with a kill by Rebelki. Able to stop that one. Stenman, but the whistle blows. And we will have a double hit this time on Stenman. And it'll be 17 serving 19. Neiman back to serve for the Titans. Into the net service error. That the Titans were not expecting to have. 20 serving 17 now. For Neiman, that is her fifth service error on the season. She entered play tonight with four. 
The ball sent across, and a point as it did not get in the line of play by Stenman that time. It'll be 18 serving 20. His head will return, replacing Klimek. And back in service will be Alex Lyle. Lyle with a kill, or four kills, rather. And one service ace tonight. Rebelke on the dig for Sandifer. Looking for Stemman on. Oh, they were able to get it across. As it looked like Titan was going to be able to respond to it, but unsuccessful as Stemman will get the point. For the Polars, it'll be 21 serving 18. Back to serve Abby Shell, 5-3 defensive setter. Sent across, Lobo. Ooh, a nice block at the line that time by Franco. Ooh, and a kill for the Polars. 22 serving 18. We have a timeout on the court as the Titans don't like what they see as they trail 22 to 18 and one set to none in this best of five. Polars won the opening set by a score of 25 to 18, I believe. And they lead this one 22 to 18. Again, the Polars coming into play today, 12 and 13 on the season, 2 and 0 in the Metro East. And the Titans 5 and 8 overall, 3 and 1 in the Metro East with a win that would certainly bring the North Polars up to speed. And again, you see there the Rochester Century Tournament coming up for Tartan. Then they finish with Monaby Night, St. Paul Central, South St. Paul, and Hill Murray. So a chance certainly looking at that schedule for Tartan to improve upon their result and where they might stand moving in to section play beginning in just a few short weeks. Back in action now. 22 serving 18. So it'll be Abby Shell to serve. One set to none. The Polars lead. They lead this one 22 18. They sent across by Lobo. Stenman. Looking there now for Sandifer. Blocked into the crowd. Off the hands of a Tartan Titan. And it'll be 23 18 as we'll have a double set point upcoming here. Shell to serve. Into the lineup in the right hand. Stuck by Lyle. Try to send it across Lobo. Ooh, a nice play right at the pin by head. To try to keep it alive. Oh, a nice play there by Munter. Stuck by Shell this time. Sent back across Lyle to get to it again for the Titans. Lobo. Back across Stenman. For Sandifer. For Kang! Tipped over across the line. Should get back to it. And again here, Franco blocked at the line. Oh, and the whistle blows, and they will say four hits for the Tartan Titans. And they will get the point. And it'll be 19 serving 23. As we await service this time from Tara Mosher. Sandifer for Stedman. Nice dig by Lyle on that powerful shot by Stedman. To the cross by head. Nice dig by Shell. Cross from Rebelke. The kill! Jenna Rebelke on the kill. How about the dig by Abby Shell to keep that play alive? 24 serving 19, set point. Franco back in service. Can be dug a little too strong off the hands. Mosher able to get to it as it's sent back across by Lobo. Sandifer. The cross, nice dig by Lyle. They won't get to it as it bounces off in the rafters. They have to play it out of bounds. And the Polars win the second set, 25 to 19. I think that last couple of points really hinged on that fantastic dig by Abby Shell to keep that one alive. As that's nine kills on the evening now for Lauren Stenman. And the North Polars lead two sets to none. We'll be back with the third. This is your home for Polar and Tartan Titan Volleyball here on SEC Sports. Some kids never smile. They're embarrassed by their crooked teeth. They want braces like the other kids, but their families can't afford them. Some may even try to straighten their teeth themselves. That can make everything worse. Luckily, there's Donated Orthodontic Services, a program from the American Association of Orthodontists. It helps provide orthodontic treatment to kids and teens whose families can't afford it. For kids who apply, are approved, and are matched with a volunteer orthodontist, it can be life-changing. Their treatment is in the hands of an expert, 
a licensed local orthodontic specialist who improves their smiles by correctly aligning teeth and jaws. Some kids think they'll never smile again, but donated orthodontic services may help them smile with confidence. To link to the application and eligibility requirements, visit aaoinfo.org. It's been all north tonight as they lead two sets to none over their in-district rival, the Tartan Titans, by victories in the first set, 25 to 18, and in the second set, 25 to 19. As we await the start of this third set, best of five, Tartan served, or North rather, served across as we resume play. Send across Stemman with a kill again. Why not? But it was blocked right into the net. And that will be the attack error as we have a substitution early with the Titans leading this set one to none. To serve now, Faith Lowell for the Titan Titans as she'll send it across. Can be dug this time here by Sand. The first set, the cross dig and a kill. That time by Lauren Stenman. Stenman with 10 on the evening. And we'll have back, back to serve Alexis Kang now. One serving one, third set. Lyle on the dig for Lobo. This time looking across and the attempted kill there by Spoden is returned by the Titans. Send it across, nice play by Lyle to keep it alive, but it falls over the back line and it'll be another point here for the North Polars. As we look at the matchups, the last 10 between these teams, Tartan has won a set just four of the 10 matchups and really, if you think about it all time, as the attempt to cross there, too strong off the hands of Lyle. Three serving one now. When you look at it, the Titans have won a total of five sets, whereas the Polars have won a total of 30 in the last 10 matchups. When you add tonight, 32 to five, the last. We're going to 37 sets between these two teams. That time on block for the Titans keeps this one extended as it's two serving three this time. Head will come out, replaced by Klimek. And it's been some excellent defensive plays between these two teams that have really kept play going, as you see the celebration that time by the junior Maggie Head. She's certainly not giving up. As Klimek will send it across, dug by Rebelke. Sandifer set across, nice dig that time by Lobo, but too far on the kill attempt by Mina Yenner, who's been all over the ball tonight. Especially in that front line for the North Polars, four serving two. Jenna Rebelke back in service. Rebelke chooses to stand middle of the court. With four serves two. Across, Lyle unable to get to it cleanly, but she'll have a chance to play it again. Out of that time by Kang. Here near side. Strong kill attempt there by Stemman, deferred by the Titans. That's a nice kill that time off the hands of one of the front line by Samantha Spoden. And will be three serving four as that's Spoden's first kill of the evening. Again, you saw their near pin right off the hands of Franco at the net. This time we'll have three serving four. It'll be Spoden back to serve. And they're too strong on that one. The service error for Spoden and the Tartan Titans has four Spoden. No aces. It'll be her first error on the season. It'll be five serving three this time. It was Stemman back to serve. And an error right there at the net as the Titans touched it. And we stem him back to serve six serving three. Titans lead, or Titans trail rather, excuse me, two sets to none. Stemming in service. Right hand across, dug that time by Clement. Lobo looking for Lyle at the net. Ooh, what do they say? They say point for the Titans. So I'm not quite sure what happened there. Now the two officials will come together and talk about it. I thought it was blocked down by Isa Franco at the near pin. Of course, we have the ability to view instant replay, and now they'll confer with the line judge here on the near side. We'll see what he saw. We'll see how he chooses to rule, and then they will overturn, and it will be a point for the North Polars. As we'll take a look at it here now ourselves, you see Lyle the kill, the block. Unfortunately, just out of the camera shot that line. But the officials ruled 
And it was in play. 7 7 3 now. Service error that time by Lauren Stenman gives Tartan the ball. And service is into the game now. We will have the bench start to roll a little bit. Unfortunately, number five not on the roster, but I just heard it. We'll catch up with that name in just a moment. Sent across by Franco, and a kill that time for Yaiza. That'll be her eighth kill on the evening. And now Abby Shell will come back in. We'll replace Steckler. Eight serving four this time. Shell, no aces, no kills, but has a force, has been a force digging the ball out tonight for the Polars. Lyle, service error off the thumb into the net. Nine serving four now. So it's sent across. Can be dug that time by number five. Lyle off the hand, dug by Stedman. Looking that time for Sandifer. Sandifer across. Ooh, found a seam between two Titans. And a lead again, six. Looks as though the Polars on the timeout by Tartan. Looks as though the Polars will have no way with the Titans here in this third set. You see, oh, just off the hands there of Madison Klimek and out past the outstretched arms of Tara Mosher. And that gives the Polars this 10 to 4 lead in this third set. A game and a match that they lead two sets to none. Still looking again. You see here that North Volleyball upcoming schedule. You see the Blaine Varsity Invitational. They'll play St. Paul Highland Park and some additional opponents as well. They'll play Sib Sibley and Simley at Simley. That'll be a big matchup concerning the Metro East Conference title. And then the Hastings Raiders, the last regular season opponent before the section play begins in just a few weeks. North High Polars, Class 5, or Class 3A, excuse me, came in today at the number 10 ranked team, according to MinnesotaScores.net, on their QRF ranking, which some sections elect to use to seed their teams. Others choose to do conventional coaches polling. Lyle across. Oh, what a dig. Alex Lyle on the kill. That's her fifth of the night. She'll go back to serve. Five serving ten. Wow, what a kill by Alex Lyle. Said right at the feet of Jenna Rebelke. It's exactly what you want. It's a game of millimeters where even just having a slight difference on where that ball lands on your hand can make all the difference in the world. Kill attempt now by Franco. In, says the line judge. Eleven serving five. Franco found that seam right along the corner. The line judge ruled that it was in 11 serving five as Franco will go back to serve for the Polars. Over across way too strong and the service error that time by the Polars will give Tartan back possession. Six serving 11 this third set. Tara Mosier to serve the 5-4 senior. Libero in white will send it across Doug Byrabelki. It's time for Sandifer looking across block to the line on the kill attempt by Enner. Crossed by Kang, another team block for the Titans. Looking here, why not? Ooh, a nice dig by Lyle, but they can't get to it. It was a nice dig attempt by Alex Lyle. But Lauren Semin able to finish that point off for her 11th kill of the evening. 12 serving six now is Bria Sandifer. The 5 6 center will go back to do service. Sandifer across. Nice dig there. And back far post for head. Sandifer, that time for Stemmen. It's dug again by the Titans. Low ball for Lyle across too strong as she was looking for the back corner. That'll be 13 serving six. Sandifer, back to do service as we will wait it. And the right handed serve, dug by Lyle this time. A nice play by Lobo. He's able to get sent across by Spoda. Kang, it's time for Lyle. For Lobo, this time for head off of the hands of a couple of Titans, or a couple of Polars rather, as Yenner was on the line at the front line blocking. We have a substitution as Rahman will come in. Replacing number five for the Titans. Again, I apologize for the delay. I was trying to hear the name, it's not on our roster. He was sent to cross, dug by head. Sent to cross, nice play there by Rahman. But North able to keep it alive. 
Out of the line, we'll see if it goes over quite enough. Another nice kill by Head. Spode and oh, they try to keep it alive, but sent it right behind them. It's a nice dig there by Spoden right at the net. But the Polars have doubled up the Titans here in the second set, 14 to 7. As the Polars lead two sets to none, looking to put this one away. Kang dug by Lyle. Lobo able to get back to it. Rama able to kill it down. Rama with kill number five on the evening. She has five. Lyle has five. Emma Munter has two. She's been relatively quiet since that first set. Kang on the dig. Lyle able to send it across. Ooh, that was just misfortunate positioning for the Polars and a good play by the Titans. As Alex Lyle able to recognize that there was that seam there, kill it for her sixth of the night. Back to serve for the Titans, Klimek. Sandifer sent across that time by Stemman. So they look to keep it alive. Spoden off the back part of the hand. And unfortunately, right into the net for the Titans. It'll be 15 serving nine. Two sets to none, the Polars lead. And Jenna Rebelke will go back to serve for the Polars. For Rebelke, one service ace so far tonight. Stuck by Mosher. For Lyle near pin, off the hands of Franco that time. For the kill for Lyle, her seventh. And back to serve, the senior 5'9", or 5'8", rather, excuse me, Samantha Spodem. And she will have 10 serving 15 in this third set. Stuck by Kang. And that time for Sandifer. Ooh, block right at the line. What a play by Barakat Rahman. They will not give her a kill on that one, but it was a great block off of the kill attempted there by Franco, who's been frustrated in this third set. 11 serving 15. Gazette. Oh, there it is again. Lauren Stedman. Gets another kill, that's number 12 for her. And she'll go back to serve, 16, serving 11. As Stenman awaits the whistle to blow again, indicating service, and unfortunately that time, the service error for Stenman, as we'll have 12 serving 16 this time with the Titans. Looking to pull even in this one. Again, they said the name again, but it's not a name that's on the roster at any level. So if you are the parents of number five, I do apologize. But we are unable to say your student athlete's name as they were. Stemman, oh, and a kill right now. The hands of Madison Klimek. And that's number 13 for Stemman tonight. Michelle checks back in. She'll go back to serve 17, serving 12. Michelle service across. Dug that time by Clement. Ooh, unable to get to it, though. It goes off the hands of the Titans. And we'll see if they count that as an ace, and they will. That's the first ace of the match for Shell. Babelke has one, as does Sandifer. And across that time, Munter able to get to it. Sent across again by Shell. They look to keep it going this time. Sandifer looks to set for Kang. Kang will send it on the second hit. Lobo looking for Lyle near pin. Oh, too strong. As it went just a little bit over that line, and it'll be another point for North St. Paul. As they lead 19 to 12, two to nothing in sets. Looking to pit this one away in straight sets. All the way back. Oh, a nice effort that time by Tara Mosher. And it'll be the 20th point for North St. Paul in the third set. They have been fairly competitive matchups in their last five. This Tartan has forced them to five sets before. And this time it looks like it'll be straight sets. It's another point there on the tip out of bounds. 21 to 12. Largest lead of any set tonight for the Polars. And that is nine. Because it'll be the service ace. That time again for Shell. Lyle here near pin. Shell's able to dig it. Sandifer looking for Franco blocked at the line by Lyle. And when you need your seniors to come in strong to reset the tempo, that's exactly what Alex Lyle did. She'll go back to do service now for Tartan. 13 serving 21. And his best of five. The Titans look to rally. Lyle sends it across. 
Can be done by Kang. Saying the push it across. Lobo this time. We sent across further now. Where Sandifer will have it, a chance. Franco with the tip play. Nice dig there by Mosher, ex expecting it. Sandifer standing it off of the hands and a kill for Yiza Franco. That's her tenth of the night. Two polars and double digits for kills. Stenman with 13, Franco with 10, 22 serving 13. The chant, this is our house. And unfortunately for the Titans, it's been their matchup. Ten straight wins coming into this one. It looks like it may be 11. We'll have a point for the Polars off the hands of the outstretched defender. 23 0 13 double game point. And a timeout for the Tartan Titans as they trail 23 to 13 in the third set. Two sets to none. The Polars lead over all. It was a competitive first and second set. However, this third set, Tartan has had substantial leads throughout. As they now lead it by 10 for a team that certainly looks to be posed to head to the state tournament for their first time in program history. Lots of conference championships, no section championships as of yet. And it looks as though they would certainly be heavily favored against that. Because again, you see there the Class 3A QRF rankings, the big schools if you would. You see North St. Paul there, just behind Minnetonka, Shakopee, Eastridge, Woodbury. And Lakeville North, Sartell, St. Stephen, Wyzetta, Northfield, the Raiders, and the Egan Wildcats at top by a significant margin over second place Northfield Raiders in that QRF ranking. What does that mean for it? Depends. And if you're a section that uses it, it means quite a lot. If you are not, it's just cool to look at. 23 serving 13 in this third set. Frankel sent it across, dug that time by Mosher. Lyle, it's time for Munter. Munter will send it across, Stedman can play. Cross for Kang, Kang, Lyle, whistle blows. They rule the Titans, touch the net. And we'll have match point right here, right now. Franco, 24, serving 13, match point. And goes into cross, stuck by Mosher. Head, tried to kill it, but a nice dig on that attempt by Shell. Goes back, Shell will send it across on the third hit. Can be ducked there. Lobo. Munter tried to kill. They keep it alive. Lyle's in it across for head. Head at the net. And the Titans able to keep it alive. A nice play that time by the junior Maggie Head. And we'll have 14 serving 24 as back into the game now. It'll be Samantha Spoden replacing Emma Munter. And to serve Tara Mosier. Dug that time by Shell. Looking across. Kang tried to kill. Rebelki. Pushed across that time. Is now playing in the back corner that time will be Stedman. Stedman, oh, and the Titans able to keep it alive. A nice block by Samantha Spoden at the line. And Mosher will go back to serve 15, serving 24. In service and across. Rebelki on the dig. Sandifer, near pin. Oh, and the Titans able to keep it alive. Nice little rally. Going here for the Tartan Titans. They've got the last three points in a row. They only trail by eight. It's sent across by Kang. Looking here, Stedman. Oh, nice dig up into the Raptors. Where will it come down? It will come down on the opposite side of the line. And in straight sets, the North St. Paul Polars knock off the Tartan Titans for the 11th time in a row. Three sets to none. It was, as we look at the totals of these sets between these two teams. Polars won all three by leads of seven, eight, and by this third and final set by a total of nine, 25 to six. So the Polars victorious tonight. They will improve to 12, 13 and three overall, three and oh in the Metro East. And the Tartan Titans will fall to five and nine, three and two overall in the Metro East standings. We want to thank our entire SCC production crew here tonight for coming out and doing this excellent match of girls high school volleyball. We want to thank everybody out in the truck, and we want to thank you for watching here on SCC Sports. For Alex Westhead and our entire production crew, excuse me, I am Alex Westhead. We want to thank you for watching tonight's game. This is your home for Tartan and North Volleyball here on SCC Sports.